um, be all over, won't it, by this time next week? Yeah, <laughs> But the papers will be full well, of it. Well, it won't be over really, will it? It's just the beginning. Yeah, exactly. Just and the Bill Hall is here to look through the Good papers. Morning. And it will, I, I imagine you're probably trying to miss next week, possibly. Um, let's have a quick, quick look at the front pages. Daily Telegraph, um, they've got a story there about uh, Cameron, where we've we were talking about it this morning, reigniting that intern row, saying he's very relaxed about middle-class families, giving children a leg up by exploiting their contacts. Front page of the Daily Mail, the image there is Kate Middleton, of course. A lot of the papers are going with pictures of her this morning. And uh, this suggestion that there could be a revolutionary jab could stop the onslaught of Alzheimer's is their main story there. Uh, front page of the Independent, the Battle of Britain. This was going, uh, we've covered this this morning, this battle over uh, Tesco being set up in in Bristol, um, went into a full-scale full, full scale riot, police accused of attacking bystanders. And that same story on the front page of The Guardian, uh, that image uh, from the streets in Bristol, those problems there. Mizrata rebels strike back against Gaddafi snipers. We'll be live out of Libya this morning for the very latest from there. And you're going to pick up on that intern row, aren't you, Phil? I am. I, I think when you've got a time of major wars and, uh, as you say, a royal wedding, a huge debt, and we're discussing interns on the front page of our newspapers. And I think, <clears throat> not because I don't think it's a, the right to be there, by the way, I think Cameron makes a point here that um, he's going to help his, ne his next one neighbour to get a job. Why not? Mm -hmm. And I think we're seeing this a lot. We've seen this a bit with judges this week talking about privacy actions. Here, I think well, Cameron is he's very relaxed and chilled about it. How far can we go with legislating? I mean, are we going to stop businesses, for instance, ordering the local stationery from the uh, local stationery shop because my neighbour happens to run the stationery shop or am I, am I not going to hire a lawyer because my sister works at a law firm? For interns not to be part of the network of friends and relationships I think is ridiculous. I, don't but th there I is think Clegg's missed a, a big point here really. I, I think he, he makes issues that, that aren't really important to the Well to it's the interesting country. because the political dimension of this is as you say a lot of people will agree with David Cameron. When, when Nick Clegg made those comments people saying well I'll do whatever's necessary for my children or my Absolutely. friend's children. But this is done deliberately. He, he needn't have said. Cameron no. need not have said what he said today. But uh, you see, I, I obviously I have friends and contacts around Downey Street, and they say that Cameron is just about the most relaxed Prime Minister since uh, Winston Churchill. Very, very comfortable, happy leaving George Osborne working, doing the economy. He's a very relaxed individual, and I don't mm. think he sees it as necessarily fighting with Clegg. He just says what he thinks. And uh, there's, there's other reports in the papers today that Clegg and uh, Cameron text each other constantly all day, keeping themselves... You know, informed of what they're doing, so I think I think there's quite a good relationship uh, between them. But I think I don't think the prime minister is afraid to say anything, frankly. Um, you're talking about Tesco as well, aren't you? Well, I think the Battle of Tesco, and I think it's interesting, really, because Tesco, uh, obviously, the biggest one of the I think the biggest company in this country, one in eight pounds is spent with Tesco's. What did they announce last week? It was profits of 3.8 billion. They've got a major PR job on their hands, haven't they? Because we don't hear about Tesco out there among the, the youth of Britain or putting money back into the communities. Now, they clearly do, but they, we don't hear about it. They've got a new boss, uh, Terry Lee, who's now stepped down. And I think, frankly, we see this over and over again. Where I live, there was a, te a Tesco came to, came to the town. Everybody objected to it. The local authority objected to it. And it was overrun uh, by the, overruled by the government. And there's, there's a real entity towards Tesco, and they've got to do something about it. Um, should we talk about Royal Wedding? Because I think we're running out of time yep. a bit, actually. Um, Papers and are full say, of it. They're already <laughs> full of it. Well, they're they? saying those pictures in the week, you know, of, of uh, Kate uh, shopping in the King's Road probably would have earned that agency a hundred thousand pounds in in fees because those pictures have gone around the world. What what the um, uh, travel authorities are saying is this is worth two billion pounds to the British economy, more than the Olympic Games. Uh, they're launching a um, massive uh, advertising campaign, hundred million pound global marketing campaign, mm. starting with the royal wedding. So. They'll, they'll, they'll use it to market Britain. Anybody who lives in, in London at the moment, 500,000 tourists in London normally at East, so there's 600,000. I'd say 600,000 extra. I, I couldn't think they walk said, down they? Oxford Street on Thursday night. It was just uh, yeah. teeming with people. And Phil, the, the middle, Kate Middleton factor, the, this whole thing that's going on around her, do you think that's, I mean, is that being fueled by other people? Is, is that being pushed on us or is it genuine? Is I it think an this organic? Is the, this is when the palace come into their own. I do think it's organic because I think she's beautiful, she's very photogenic. But I think what what we'll see with the palace is this is the, you know these big pomp and circumstance events. They really do know how to get them out. They get the stories out. The individuals, the characters taking part in the wedding. Um, and you, I mean, th that's your mm. e expertise, isn't it? PR. Th 
this is I'm kind of interested in that sh in that shot anyway you generally think she just did go down the King's I Road do. and I do it happens. you don't need to orchestrate that these days agencies are in King's Road New Bond Street all the key places mm -hmm. in London there's a photographer around all the time so I think that was that was natural and I think she looked quite natural and if you look at the pictures that have been taken there are passers-by not even aware of it which is which is fantastic and do you think the palace have changed then in the way that they are kind of managing it would you know the key point that comes across in the papers I think Alison Pearson or, or certainly somebody was saying in the papers this morning is, is she's 30 you know when Diana came into it she was do you remember she was in this frilly collars that looked actually almost childish actually Kate is mature she's been waiting a long time for this and she's ready for it. She looks the part and she looks confident. Of course, she's going to, it's going to be some nerves, but I think she's somebody who's more able to cope than yeah. her predecessor. OK, Phil, you're back in the next hour. Yes, for the moment. thank you. you later. Thank you. Pleasure. Absolutely. For a quick look at the page. Um, Phil Hall is here. He's been looking at the inside pages. Morning to you. And we'll come to you in a second. A quick look at the front pages, though, as well. You haven't managed to get them this morning. Our front page of the mail, they're talking about a jab, which could actually reverse Alzheimer's and, of course, Kate Middleton is in the front pages, inside pages of most of the papers as well this morning. Yes, indeed, that picture on the front page of the Times, Kate Middleton uh, talking about how much her brand could now be worth, worth more than the Olympics. Possibly Taliban bomber came from London. This is a Taliban suicide bomber infiltrated Afghanistan's defence headquarters in Kabul, uh, suggesting she travelled from London. Uh, a couple of the other papers, uh, they're calling the Independent, are calling it the Battle of Bristol. This is a battle um, about a Tesco Express which was set has opened in one part of Bristol and many residents not liking that and front page of the Telegraph. The row we're talking about a little bit earlier about to David Cameron saying that uh, he's reignited that in turn round saying that he's quite relaxed about people giving their children a leg up by exploiting their contacts. You're going to take us uh, down the compost heap. Down on the compost oh. heap, gardeners going to battle over peat. That's the headline in the Telegraph, says it all really I think. Um, it's a Chelsea Flower Show. They've done a survey of 27 leading gardeners, and more than half of them they still use peat. And I'd, I have to say, I wasn't aware that in the 1990s, the government set a voluntary target for, in, for the industry to phase out peat in compost by 2010. This is because digging up peat really does affect the wildlife. It's also driving climate change because it releases uh, greenhouse gases, equivalent of 300,000 extra cars on our roads a year by digging up peat but it's still being used in huge numbers and the new breed of gardener says actually we should be recycling our own waste we should also maybe digging up peat from rivers to clean rivers rather than taking it from the traditional irish um peat that's bogs. very interesting um we're talking about uh, photographs and pr and all the rest of it this is david cameron there he is and he's amongst holiday makers um in polzeth particularly in like that picture Cornwall. the way the mirror have used it because you can see the background here see the lady in the striped uh, top walking past him she's going to wake up this morning and be like, i walked past the prime minister and didn't notice didn't have a word i did maybe. that once i was sent to the caribbean to find mick jagger and i walked past him on a beach i asked the fisherman he said you just, uh, just missed him <laughs> but there's a prime minister actually on the beach in cornwall i, I rather like this it's very natural there's, a, there's other pictures of him getting a coffee from the coffee shop for him and his wife and people completely uh, oblivious to what's happening now one assumes there's security around somewhere, but uh, you certainly can't see them. Does that, I mean, okay, on the one hand, it's lovely because he's, you know, doing normal things that other, you know, dads do and whatever. Does, does that issue of security bother you? I think is it, is so. It, is, it, is it an issue there? Is I mean, I must admit, we were, when we, my wife and I were discussing those pictures of him on the uh, EasyJet flight, you know, from, from the airport last month, thinking, mm -hmm. well, the security, and especially in this day and age, and... I think maybe Cameron's enjoying the honeymoon period because I suspect as he gets into his premiership, this isn't going to be possible. And he oh, has I got a young family. There, aren't they? Well, he's, they must be, but where? They must be. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's the lady in the top. by the PR people, just, out, just step, step back <laughs> yeah, and keep the that away. Yeah, it's congruity of the whole thing, isn't it? Because it, if people are not expecting to see him like that, so... Mm. What I like as well is you see him constantly, sleeves rolled up, out there working, full on, but he is finding time for the family. Mm. Uh, now, the story also from the mail, uh, the nose job. Well, M Miliband's been, I think, victim of some bullying, really, because of his, uh, his nasal voice. There's a lot of people talking about it on the, on the internet, and people. Uh, somebody phoned into Radio 2 not so long ago and said how grating it was. Well, he's now having an operation to have a cartilage removed from his nose, which is causing this problem. Um, it also causes... Um, sleep apnea. I don't know if you know what that means, but it can stop you breathing during a, while you're asleep and it often causes deaths as well. So it's quite a serious situation, Issue. but it will change his voice at the same time. That will be one of the uh, benefits of, of that operation. And 
It's in every single newspaper it's, this morning. It's, so it's kind of personal stuff, isn't it, actually? It is yeah. personal. And, and actually, the argument is, is it cosmetic? Mm. And actually, a leading authority here is saying, no, it's not. It's, it really does. People suffer from it enormously. Now, we mentioned this story uh, yesterday morning when it first came out. There were no pictures available at that time. This is extraordinary, isn't it? For, <laughs> this woman in Florida. This woman, I think, full credit to her. And, and she would work in the health service, wouldn't she? I mean, she's obviously used to a, a drama. And uh, she saw this, this little girl slipping from the balcony. Instead of panicking, she just walked over, stood in the right place, and waited for the, for the uh, baby to drop and caught the baby, cushioned the fall, and uh, by all accounts, um, saved her life. I mean, it's fantastic. But she, doesn't, she won't talk about it. She's embarrassed about it. She's on holiday, and uh, bless her, you know, she, she's her. just carried on and done a deed as, as she believes you would anyway. Yeah, uh, and street parties, 5,500 street parties <laughs> across the UK because of the royal wedding. Well, a lady in your, in your green room said to me, are you having a street party? Because somebody knocked on my door and asked me the other day whether we're having one. I said, I think you'd know if you're having one because <laughs> everybody would be knocking on the door for you yeah. making cakes. It's fantastic, really, though, that this, this tradition still exists. I'm not sure. It's quite the enthusiasm as we remember the Golden Jubilee and uh, Diana and Charles. I think, you know, communities have changed in those times, but I think it's reassuring. Interesting, I think every London borough is having a street party except one, the London Borough of Barking. Blossom. Really? Uh, someone in my street was talking about having an impromptu one, and, and uh, you have to have permission. permission. I mean, if you, you want to do it license. properly, you have to you have, have, have all permission. the signed forms yeah. and everything has yeah, to be yeah, done. Even license. Everyone agrees. You don't need permission to close roads in London at the moment for the Olympic Games, it seems to me. They're closed everywhere, but um, the street parties, absolutely. And let's just talk about the sort of battle of the papers for the images of Kate as well, yeah. because they are across already, you know, it's, it's another week we have. I have to say, uh, we were talking about this in the first um, section. Uh, yeah. We've got to be careful here because Diana was pursued and chased and I hope the authorities would do something about it. They always say editors should stop. I always think paparazzi should be arrested if they're chasing people on motorbikes and mm. down you know, side roads and potentially putting them at risk. And She's enjoying the honeymoon period. It's new to her, lots of smiling faces and enjoying it clearly, but she's got to be very careful. And, uh, Another story from the paper this morning, which I think is very moving, is that Prince William is, says he's still going to go into battle. He's still going to fight in Afghanistan. You know, getting married is not going to make any difference. He, he feels a sense of duty, and uh, I think that will really propel this couple to the, the top of the news agenda even yes. more. I think people will say, actually, you know, good luck to them. He's, he's out there working, and, but let's not harass her and pursue her. Okay, Phil, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for your time. Nice to see you again. See you Pleasure. shortly. Thank you.